Hey friends, it's Aki Dears. I'm kind of losing my voice here a bit today, but in this video, I would like to introduce you guys to what I would consider the final boss of anime fans. Three years ago, South African born Julian Lowe started on a mission to transform himself into his favorite anime character. Dragon Ball Z itself is one of the most intense, in depth anime cartoons I've ever watched. When people see me dressed as trunks, uh, I only ever get uh, wow faces. Now, I don't have a doubt in my mind that we all have that one character that inspired us on our journey as kids. That one character that made us laugh, that made us cry. The one character that made us want to be better than ourselves, that we wanted to be when we grow up. And this man is no exception to that philosophy with his obsession with trunks from Dragon Ball. His attitude, his, his charisma, his dress sense, uh, his hairstyle. I got made fun of a lot. I, I guess you could say I was somewhat of a weakling. This little figurine over here, I've had for 12 years, and he's just got that attitude and that swag that basically any teenage rebel would kill for. To complete his look, Julian follows a strict eating and exercise regime. You know, there was a part of me, undeniably, that I was thinking, oh, maybe this guy's taking it a little bit too far. He's dedicating day in and day out to this character that he loves so much. I get it, man. DBZ, classic badass anime. Trunks, pretty good choice. My personal favorite is Supreme Kai. But committing your entire life just to turn into this one DBZ character, I was thinking, well, do you think maybe this guy is taking anime a little bit too far? And I would say yes but for a lot of good reasons. To become like the Trunks Saiyan, I start my day off with the, the most nutritionally balanced, energetic breakfast possible. The look of the Dragon Ball Z character was almost impossible to create. Trunks has got a very dominant upper chest, and that's an area that I paid specific attention to. Because as this video progressed, I realized, dude, if anything, this guy has determination. I mean, look at him. He's healthy, he's found something that has made his life not only more fulfilling, but also look at him. This guy is buff as shit. He's got a whole setup of meal preps and exercise routines ready for him as long as it means getting to where he wants to be. Even if the end goal means becoming Super Saiyan. And you know what? That's fine. It's a lot better than other people that tried going Super Saiyan. <laughs> And a hell of a lot better than all of us, including myself, when we all saw that one episode in Dragon Ball where Gohan was teaching Videl key control, and I know you all sat there trying to make that ball of light come out of your chest, and did it work? Absolutely not. We all gave up, but did that stop this guy? No. He knew that that was fantasy, he knew that was never gonna happen, that a ball of light would never just pop out of his chest if he just believed it to be, but there was a fiery, burning passion inside of him, and he just wanted to live and breathe Dragon Ball. Because, I mean, if you really look at it, like, lots of videos on the internet that showcase people with obsessions over things like this burn thousands of dollars on plastic surgery but this guy he didn't do that he wanted to eat healthy he wanted to bulk up he wanted to exercise every single day and push his body beyond its limits and go beyond plus ultra i know that's a completely different anime than what i'm talking about right now but you get the point three four days a week um I added a lot of gymnastic training in, I, I added a lot of ballet training in for my alignment, for the flexibility. But going back to it, again, he's pushing his body beyond its limits and going forth, which I think is the biggest message and biggest theme of Dragon Ball. And he took that and channeled it into his own life. Because if you really look at it, you don't see him doing things like screaming, trying to grow out his hair. You don't see him trying to sleep in a pod for eternity or searching for Dragon Balls. He's just a huge Dragon Ball fan, just very committed to his cosplay. And so I can't hate the dude. In fact, I give him a lot more credit than he's probably given right now. And in a way, it's kind of inspiring. And in the great words of Jalen, he channeled that energy from within and he believed and he channeled that energy through the creation of his mind, of what his mind believed and what he spoke into existence of the power that he had. I feel like anything that you set your mind to, your mind was, you know, your mind can create that force because your mind is just this powerful machine. You can do it and I believe I can be a super saiyan. I will say though, the hairdresser making his hair purple. Purple hair on a guy is pretty cool. I would say it, it was costly in the terms of the time and the effort, but I, I wouldn't have had it any other way. I'm exactly where I need to be. Could have done a better job in my opinion. I think that the dye that he used and the way that he styled his hair could have been done at home. Why am I even talking about this? If I had to guess, the biggest investment that this guy's probably putting into his entire obsession of trunks are probably his gym membership, the hairdresser that he'll go to every so now and then, and a lifetime supply of whey protein. Because really, 
He could have done steroids, he could have done surgery, but he stared at himself in the mirror and thought, no, this isn't what Trunks would do. Trunks would work for his goals. He wouldn't take the easy way out. I'm exactly where I need to be. Maybe he really is Trunks and he is the son of Vegeta and Bulma. If he were my kid, realistically speaking, I would think that the cosplay portion of this obsession was a phase. But I wouldn't hit on him too hard because at least one, he's living healthy, and two, he's happy. He seems like a pretty cool dude to hang out with, honestly. Like, after this video, I might just put up some push-ups and try to be Saitama from One Punch Man, meet up with this guy and see, like, if he can probably be my personal trainer. Because obviously, I mean, I think we'll be on, like, the same page here. No, but really, if I make that video, I will attempt Emphasis on attempt, Saitama's exercise, even if it means losing all of my hair out. And I will probably fail, but if anything, the biggest thing that I hope you guys will take from that video, if it were to ever to come out, is that I will put every sense of determination that I have in there before I collapse. TLDR of the entire thing, basically what I'm trying to say is that this guy, he's a goddamn hero, and there are people out there with bigger obsessions who have spent more money on a lot of more unhealthy things, who are probably in a lot more dangerous situations. This guy, he's just a very fit and buff cosplayer, that, and I, and I hope I meet him at Anime Expo at some point, so I can give him a high five. But that's all I really gotta say, guys. So, you tell me, do you think maybe he took anime too far? Or do you think he played his cards just right? You tell me.